the other side of the studio. I never really film on this side or ever use it because J2 is here, he was using all of his instruments. It was kind of the music side. I'm always painting in the room over there and only using pretty much half of it. But as I'm developing this studio and continuing to add things, one of the big ideas I wanted to do was soundproofing. I'm gonna soundproof this whole room really well and that room so it's better sound quality, better acoustics. This is not that video, however. This video is me interlacing pieces of artwork on the walls as much as I can on the wall space before I put these foam panels up. So you saw me grid out this rectangle with painter's tape and that is just a rubric for a graffiti piece that I'll be putting right in that rectangle and then surrounding with these foam panels. So that's the plan. I'm gonna draw out some graffiti right now just to get a better idea of what I'm working with and then we'll start with some spray paint. <laughs> So it's a little messy. It's not the cleanest, but I was always planning on using the actual wall paint, the white wall paint, as the white fill. Therefore, I could clean up my actual outlines, and I was just going for as thin of a black line as possible with like nice straight lines. So I'm just gonna clean it up right now and then hit the 3D, but it's gonna be a super, I'm trying to go for a super duper clean, thin graffiti style. But we'll see how it turns out. I'm all finished. It took longer than I expected, but that's okay. You kind of want to make these murals that are staying on the wall extra good, you know, hold your quality of work to a higher standard. You know what I mean? I just finished putting this pink outline around the whole thing just to kind of top the whole piece off. It's very subtle. You could also see I threw in some cast shadows where letters are in front of other letters and also different shades for the 3D. Also very subtle. From the beginning, I wanted this piece to be very simple, but very sexy and clean, you know, and nice looking. And I think I achieved that. So booyah to me. I was never planning on actually using this white for the fill, but it worked out quite conveniently because I had leftover paint, the exact paint I used to paint this entire studio. And I think it looks super clean and super basic. Again, what I wanted. I'm glad I filmed this. I'm glad I got to document this process and kind of bring you along with me to share this experience of painting all these murals in my studio. If you haven't seen other ones I've done, you could check out those videos on my channel. Make sure to subscribe because I did this 
to put foam panels around and I'm planning on soundproofing the whole shebang, the whole studio. So stay tuned, we got a bunch of projects lined up coming at you rapid fire, like I said, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, see you next time.